I used to do a lot of online dating. I was on a dating app called Uber. <laughs> First of all, the man has a car. <laughs> it's half the battle, you know? And he's picking you up, so chivalry is not dead. <laughs> not yet, it's getting there. <laughs> that I don't trust men, I don't trust you one bit. <laughs> don't trust Ariana's dad, I'm sorry. Just gonna say it. <laughs> I don't trust men because if Beyonce is being cheated on, then no woman's safe. <laughs> Jay-Z cheated on beautiful Beyonce and then Beyonce created a one hour revenge film called Lemonade. <laughs> if my man cheated on me, I would just destroy all of our Ikea furniture. <laughs> I'd be like, do you see this $12 nightstand that took us six hours to build? I'm gonna destroy it in one second, just psh. But not Beyonce. Beyonce created Lemonade, and for those of you who never saw it, all of her songs, they sounded exactly the same. They were all just like, you fucking shit on me, you fucking shit on me. Track five, you fucking shit on me. Track 12, you fucking shit on me. Serena Williams came out, she was like, you fucking shit on me, you fucking shit on me, you fucking shit on me. At the end of Lemonade, Jay-Z made an appearance. He came out, he was like, ugh. <laughs> Oops, the daisy. Sorry, Bay. <laughs> no one got mad at Jay Z when he cheated. They all got mad at the mistress. They got mad at this woman named Rachel Roy. But some of the Beyonce fans, they heard it wrong. They started getting mad at Rachel Ray. <laughs> the cook. Can you imagine? She's just in her kitchen. She's cooking up her frittata. All of a sudden, she's getting all these tweets like, you're a whore, and she's like, did I add too much salt? Oh, 